the 13th edition of the Lutheran Creepy Festival. You would know that uh, the festival had to be postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, if we see, you know, the 2022 uh, Creepy Festival was a hive of activity as, you know, people... Ocean, uh, you know, people also made use of, 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 of exhibiting their stalls. You know, uh, some opportunity, some uh, small and medium enterprises uh, also had an opportunity to showcase some of their products and services here. Yeah, so it was really a hype of activity here at Ludrets. Uh, for there was also some activities like uh, both sport, you know, like the spin, which the youngsters always love. Uh, there was also the Scrafish Festival that also took part took place here. And also for those ones that love, you know, the beautiful ocean that Nam Namibia has to offer, some people were also had also had the opportunity to be on boat cruises or boat rides, as one says. But, you know, the, the, the core of the thing was, you know, the delicacies that people enjoyed, you know, the crayfish, the fish, and it was just a lovely atmosphere. You know, imagine for two years, you know, this did not happen, and people were just so happy uh, to have the Crayfish Festival back again. It was just a beautiful atmosphere. One of the things, Roche, that the town of Ludret is known for is that the weather sometimes can change. But surprisingly, you know, for the past few days, we've had lovely weather in the town of Ludret. It's really been a beautiful uh, atmosphere here, and people have really, uh, you know, ex uh, uh, enjoyed themselves during the couple of days here at the Ludret Crayfish Festival. But I just wanted to also share with you, uh, uh, Roche, that also, you know, what took place also was the Youth Week also, where a, about 300 young people converged also here at Ludret to take part in the National Youth Week. Uh, it, the focus here was on, you know, agriculture and ensuring that young people have a, have a, a platform, you know, to, to, to get involved in agriculture and also to ensure that, you know, uh, they are also making sure that uh, job creation is also been um, uh, increased through these agricultural products. So yes, uh, Ludrat itself has really been a hype of activity. Uh, today we are also commemorating the Workers' Day here at Ludrat, uh, where the uh, Minister of Fisheries, uh, Derek Klaassen, also spoke. Uh, he also spoke about the importance of ensuring that workers' rights are, are, are recognized. And he also spoke about the fact, you know, that sometimes workers do not understand, uh, you know, their purpose and the importance of unions uh, um, um, uh, in, in, in the work environment. Uh, joining me now, if I can just ask my cameraman just to uh, uh, bring in uh, Absalon, uh, Willem Absalon, who is the Deputy Secretary uh, of NAFAO. Uh, he he um, is the Deputy Secretary. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Willem Absalon, for joining us on NBC TV. An important occasion here where workers again uh, came together to speak about their rights. Uh, I wanted to ask you, in terms of, you know, unions, how important is it for, 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 for people to join unions and do our workers understand their role and their participation in the whole uh, uh, involvement of union activities? Yes, uh, good morning, sir. Um, thank you very much for, for the question. Um, today we are here commemorating the Workers' Day. And the Workers' Day is a day that workers come, to come, come together and they remember the hardship that they are going through, commemorating their days worldwide. So in terms of the questions, uh, the trade union um, they to represent the workers, the benefit of the workers, and to negotiate and to represent in any form either in the working negotiations or either in the disciplinary actions or arbitrations. And this is very much important for Namibia workers to understand the role of trade unions and them to understand their rights as workers. So there are many Namibian workers who are not members of, of the unions because of their understanding. And I'm here by now advising or informing Namibian workers to make sure that whoever they find themselves, they join a trade union for them to be able to represent it. It is very much important for the workers to unite and they join the unions that seek for recognition. So a union must first recognize for enable the union to, 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 to represent the workers. So in as much as union does not have a majority of employees, in terms of the law, we not represent the workers as a bargaining agent. So therefore, it's very much important
for the workers to unite and join the unions. There are a number of unions in Namibia, and I'm advising the workers to make sure that they join the right unions. There are some unions that are formed and uh, they are working with all structures. There's no structures for the unions. They're just working as, um, as much as they are getting members and they get paid by the members. But at the end of the day, there's no structures, proper structures. I therefore advise the workers to make sure that they join a trade union that recognized by this country, that registered in terms of the, the Labor Act to, to represent the workers. I even know she come closer to some um, politicians that are coming to the workplace and, the, and, 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 and the pretending that they will negotiate and defend the workers. I want to advise them, their workers, that the only body, the only organization that can represent the workers is only a registered trade union. Thank you so much, Mr. Absalom. Well, there you have it, uh, Mr. Willem Absalom. Mr. Willem Absalom, who is the Deputy Secretary General of NAFAO, speaking about the importance of workers uh, joining uh, trade unions and then ensuring that, you know, that their rights are also being catered for. Uh, thank you so much uh, once again, uh, Rosé, uh, from my side and from our crew side here in the uh, lovely town of Ludrets. It's over to you.